Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Now here is a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with a review of the luxury van from Honda, the Odyssey, including a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two mid-sized SUVs from Honda and Hyundai, the CRV and the Tucson. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we'll also give you highlights of the recently held BMW Joy Fest as our special feature this week. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. So there I was, standing on top of the world. But then I asked myself, what lies beyond success? I wanted to give back, be a force of change. I dream of a place where children can realize their potential, to live and love life, be kings and queens, and fight for their dreams. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Honda. The new Honda Odyssey has made its way to the country, bringing a more luxurious take in the van segment. Take a closer look at its features and style in this week's car review. Here we have the Honda Odyssey EXV Navi, which is powered by a 2.4L double overhead cam inline 4 that gives out 175 PS of power and 226 Newton meters of torque. This engine is coupled with a continuously variable transmission. Its suspension setup is composed of McPherson strut at the front and torsion axle beam at the rear. The exterior design of the EXV Navi is highlighted by Honda's latest design language, which features a new aero bumper that is matched with a bold version of the company's standard grille. This front design also comes with LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. On the side, the look is highlighted by the 17-inch alloy wheels. Meanwhile, inside the EXV Navi, the captain cradle seats with ottoman, armrest, and holder are wrapped in leather upholstery, making the seats comfortable to sit on for the driver and passengers. In addition, the seats have an eight-way configuration. Additionally, highlighting the interiors of the EXV Navi 
is its infotainment system that is composed of 7-inch touchscreen display audio with navigation that offers Bluetooth, HDMI port, USB in connectivity, and has 6 speakers. What's more special with the EXV Navi is the additional technological safety features which top up Honda's standard ones. It includes Smart Parking Assist System with new sensor-based back-in, parallel-in, and parallel-out feature, multi-view camera system with dynamic guidelines, and the cross-traffic monitor blind spot information. That was the Honda Odyssey EXV Navi CVT, this week's car review. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. Strata. Welcome back to Autofocus and we now have the latest auto industry news. AutoNation Group Incorporated, general distributors for Mercedes-Benz vehicles in the Philippines, recently introduced the heavy-duty Mercedes-Benz Actros truck with the second generation of active brake assist. In line with the launching, AutoNation Group organized a live demonstration at the Freeport Zone of Clark Air Base in Pampanga to showcase how the safety technology activates in various pre-collision situations on the road. Mercedes-Benz stated that one of their development highlights is the Active Brake Assist System, which was introduced for the Mercedes-Benz Actros Heavy Duty Truck in 2006. AutoNation Group stressed that the first generation Active Brake Assist applied the brakes automatically if it detected a risk of a head-to-tail collision with a slow-moving obstacle in front of the vehicle. And Active Brake Assist 2 is also activated if a stationary obstacle is detected, among its other features. Active Brake Assist system is basically a safety feature introduced by Mercedes, initially for the trucks, then probably with the buses next time around. This will definitely help the driver in case there is a failure on the driver to react fast on what's happening on the road. 
So basically the active brake assist will apply the brakes once there is no intervention from the driver if there is an obstruction in front of him. Meanwhile, Bermas Auto Philippines, the exclusive distributors of Mazda vehicles and parts in the country, formally opened its 20th Mazda dealership in the Philippines. Mazda Butuan is located along kilometer 3 of the National Highway in Baan, Butuan City. It is the third Mazda dealership under the AutoHub Group and is managed by MGM Motors Mindanao Incorporated. We just recently last month had an official opening of Mazda Butuan. Uh, the region in Mindanao has been growing very fast and expanding for us that we have to be expanding to serve the customer better. So we opened that, it's a 3S dealership, that means it covers sales, uh, parts and service, full service dealership in Butuan. According to Bermas Auto Philippines, Mazda Butuan is equipped with 10 work bays. Bermas Auto Philippines stressed that Mazda Butuan aims to serve the fast-growing market of Mindanao. Uh, we offer full service in Butuan, that means it's a 3S. Uh, the, our parts fuel rate is very high. That means the customers can get really good service like any other Mazda dealership in, uh, in nationally. So they become the 20th dealership uh, for Mazda showroom in there. And then we'll continue to expand Mindanao in a, by the, before the end of the year. Uh, hopefully, we'll also see the opening of General Santos. We're happy to invite uh, and welcome all customers to come into the Mazda showroom, uh, whether it's the new one in Butuan or the ones that's already established. Our showrooms are all new standards across the nation, 20th of them, and we keep expanding that. So please come and do test drive. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. 
We'll have more news about the auto industry still up ahead. But in the meantime, here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Setting the benchmark for any segment is for sure the goal of every car company when coming up with new models. When talking about the compact crossover segment, there are two cars that easily come to mind, the Honda CRV and the Hyundai Tucson. In this week's Head to Head, we take a closer look at these two vehicles and let's see how they are similar and different. Here we have the SX variant of the CRV. Just like all the other 7 seater variants of the 2018 CRV, it is powered by a 1.6 liter double overhead cam ID Tech turbo diesel engine developed under Honda's Earth Dreams technology. This engine gives out 120 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. Meanwhile, the Tuzun is powered by a 2-liter CRDI unit that produces 185 PS of power and 402 newton meters of torque. Comparing the engine figures of the two vehicles, the Tuzun has a higher set of numbers than the CRV. Additionally, the two also differ with their powertrain setup. The CRV runs on an all-wheel drive system, while the Tuzun is equipped with a front-wheel drive configuration. These differences continue on with the car's transmission setups. The CRV's turbo diesel engine is mated to a 9 speed automatic transmission. On the other hand, the Tucson's engine is coupled with a 6 speed automatic transmission. Let's now check the exterior designs of the two. Outside the CRV, Honda's design concept of modern functional dynamic is evident with the sharp light grille that showcases a sportier look. Moreover, the CRV is equipped with the standard 18 inch alloy wheels. All variants of the CRV have full LED headlights with guide type LED daytime running lights, but the XX variant has a high beam support. Additionally, the SX gets a panoramic sunroof, powered tailgate, and rain sensing wipers. Meanwhile, the Tucson also follows its brand's signature design. Hyundai's Fluidic Sculpture 2.0 philosophy aerodynamics is easily seen in the Tucson with its grille that takes center stage and is complemented by a pair of slim headlights. The design carries on to the side and rear of the car. Similar to the CRV, the Tucson also has 18-inch alloy wheels. After the exteriors, it's now time to hop on to the interiors of the two. Taking a look inside the CRV, the driver's seat is fitted with an 8-way power adjustment with 4-way lumbar support that offers level of comfort. The second row seats, on the other hand, offer 60-40 split sliding and reclining function for easy access into the third row. The Tucson, like the CRV, also get leather seats with 8-way power adjusts for the driver and 4-way for the passenger. As for the rear seats, it gets a 60-40 split. Checking a major highlight of every car's interiors, the CRV has an infotainment system that is headlined by a 7-inch touchscreen display audio system with Bluetooth connectivity and equipped with 8 speakers. The CRV variants have GPS navigation and additional controls for its dual-zone climate control system. Moving on to the Tucson, its infotainment system is simpler compared to the CRV. It uses a 4.3 inch LCD. Functions include CD, MP3, auxiliary input, Bluetooth, and USB, with the audio being coursed through six speakers. When it comes to safety features, the CRV is equipped with the standard safety and security features. But what makes the CRV special is that it comes with Honda Sensing technology, which includes adapted cruise control, low speed follow, collision mitigation braking system, lane kip assist system, 
road departure mitigation, forward collision warning, and lane departure warning. Additional safety features such as on-the-lane watch camera, side airbags, curtain airbags, and a walk-away auto-lock features are standard on the X and SX variants. Meanwhile, Tucson's safety and security features lean towards the more standard yet most necessary ones. It is equipped with anti-brake system with electronic brake force distribution, stability control and traction control. It also comes with parking sensors to lessen the risk of reversing into objects. That was the Honda CRV 7 seater diesel and the Hyundai Tucson CRDI GLS 2WD, our featured vehicles this week on Head to Head. More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2018 Aston Martin Vantage. Let's watch this. Vantage, an evocative name for a magnificent bloodline of thoroughbred sports cars. For seven decades, the heartbeat of Aston Martin's purest models, successive generations have built an enviable reputation for thrilling performance and enduring popularity. Today, this formidable sporting dynasty is poised to hit new heights with the introduction of the new Vantage. A spectacular new Aston Martin sports car demands a bold and distinctive design language. Pure, sculptural forms create an athletic, predatory stance, while the minimal front and rear overhangs, muscular flanks, and broad haunches express the agility and dynamism inherent within the car. New head and taillights form dramatic new signatures, giving the Vantage unmistakable road presence and contribute to a strong and individual identity within the growing Aston Martin model range. Aerodynamic performance is central to the Vantage concept. The front splitter directs airflow underneath the car, where a system of fences channels cooling air where it is needed and also ensures the rear diffuser is fed with clean airflow. The design of the diffuser creates an area of low-pressure air while simultaneously preventing turbulence generated by the rear wheels from disrupting the flow of air exiting centrally from beneath the rear of the car. The heart of the Vantage is Aston Martin's potent new alloy 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine. Set low and as far back in the chassis as possible for optimal center of gravity and perfect 50-50 weight distribution, this high-performance, high-efficiency engine returns a carbon dioxide figure of 245 gram per kilometer, yet develops 503 brake horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 505 pound-foot from 2,000 to 5,000 RPM. With a dry weight of 3,373 pounds, this gives the Vantage formidable power-to-weight and torque-to-weight ratios, something vividly demonstrated whenever the throttle is squeezed. Detailed tuning of the induction, exhaust, and engine management systems has given the Vantage a truly intoxicating character and soundtrack. The Vantage deploys its impressive power and torque to the rear wheels via a rear-mounted ZF 8-speed automatic transmission, capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and on to maximum speed of 195 miles per hour. It employs a sophisticated suite of integrated electronic systems to offer maximum control and driver enjoyment.
We'll have more news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. Discover an extraordinary world as it unfolds before your eyes with the all-new seven-seater diesel CRV. See the extraordinary. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough the huh? to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. The original Arlapids Chicharon has over 40 years experience manufacturing high-grade and crispy chicharon nationwide and worldwide. They also serve the best tasting barbecue in town. Arlapids Chicharon and Barbecue, Laging Bagong Luto. Welcome back to Autofocus the show for the automobile enthusiast, and back to more auto industry developments. Phoenix Petroleum, in partnership with RCBC, introduced the Phoenix RCBC Bank Card MasterCard in a launching ceremony held at the Eye at the Green Sun Hotel in Makati City. First of all, Bong, let me congratulate you on this partnership between uh, Phoenix Petroleum and RCBC. Uh, and thank you very much for having us here. Thank you, thank you, Boots. Thank you as well for coming over and uh, helping us uh, with the event. Okay, Bong, tell us, can you give our viewers an idea, what's the rationale between this uh, partnership? So, first of all, Phoenix, as, as you very well know, is uh, one of the fastest growing independent oil companies uh, in the Philippines at the moment. And as we look at growing our portfolio, we recognize the evolving needs of our customers, one of which is payment. As they become more mobile, lifestyle changes, we recognize the need for them to have this uh, kind of um, offer. And what better way to come up with this offer than to partner with an equally superior brand like RCBC Bank Card. So we wanted to provide this as an offer to our customers to support their uh, changing uh, needs uh, and lifestyle changes. RCBC Backyard is very excited to partner with Phoenix Petroleum in coming up with this very pulse racing product that is fit for every millennial. RCBC Bankard and Phoenix are both fast-growing companies. RCBC Bankard is one of the fastest-growing in the credit card industry, and we care a lot about millennials, similar to how Phoenix sees the millennials. In fact, that's the reason why we changed our tagline into We Believe in You, because we actually believe in the millennials. And having this Phoenix RCBC Bankard MasterCard actually makes that promise into a reality. So with this card, millennials can get more with their every swipe. Apart from the discounts that they're going to get, they'll also earn a lot of points. So they can use these points to travel 
So I'm very excited for the millennials to have the Phoenix RCBC Bankard MasterCard. The partnership with RCBC is actually about the, co the launch of the co-branded credit card. So it's very simple. All you have to do actually is go to any RCBC, Phoenix station, or even apply online. And the income requirement is just 15000 to avail of the card. The benefits are 5% fuel rebate. That's the highest in our industry. 5% discounts on all Phoenix lubricants, free towing and roadside assistance, and free 500 peso worth of Phoenix fuel as welcome gift. According to Phoenix Petroleum, the Phoenix RCBC Bank Card MasterCard is a continuation of their initiatives aimed at bringing their fuel products and services to a higher level. I would like to invite all our customers to come over and uh, join and enroll in our new service offering, the Phoenix RCBC Bank Card, MasterCard, and enjoy Pulse Racing benefits and lifestyle rewards. Meanwhile, Isuzu Philippines Corporation participated in the recent Public Transport Modernization Expo and display the latest PUV prototypes highlighting the Isuzu QKR as its main platform. Isuzu showcased three new PUV prototypes in the latest Transport Expo organized by the Department of Transportation, which served as the kickoff show for the modernization of public transportation under the theme Modernong Sasakyan Progressibong Bayan. According to Isuzu, their latest PUV display is a reflection of their initiative to work with different local body manufacturers to give the transport groups more designs to choose from. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions, the WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains, for Motul's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. Discover an extraordinary world as it unfolds before your eyes with the all-new seven-seater diesel CRV. See the extraordinary. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough Beat the Derek! to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. When you sweat to be sweet and you clean our seat. It's love. it's love when you try to look cool, but you look like a fool. Oh, it's love. It's love. It's love. Show your love with the new features of the all-new Innova. Love the journey. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! 
The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. And up next is our special feature. SMC Asia Car Distributors Corporation had a unique way of allowing their customers and supporters to rediscover joy by bringing in the BMW JoyFest 2018. See what happened during the said three-day event here on our special feature. SMC Asia Car Distributors Corporation, or SMCA CDC, the official importer and distributor of BMW in the Philippines, held the BMW Joy Fest 2018 at the BMW Pavilion at Bonifacio Global City, Taguig. The BMW Joy Fest 2018 allowed customers and aspiring owners to immerse themselves in a three day event that is jam packed with activities. The visitors had the chance to test drive the brand's latest vehicles. In addition, there was also a display of the newest collection of BMW lifestyle merchandise. What it is is really rediscovering our brand promise of sheer driving pleasure. And to celebrate this, we have very special uh, offerings for our uh, automobiles, our motorcycles, and even our BMW lifestyle merchandise. Apart from the activities, the visitors were among the first to explore the first ever BMW X2. One of the highlights that we have here for BMW Joyfest is the special preview of this new model from BMW, the first ever BMW X2. Now, this is a one-of-a-kind unique model in the X range, which we actually call the Cool Rebel because it unites the design language of a BMW Coupe with the rugged character of the BMW X. So definitely a one-of-a-kind model, not only the, in the BMW model range, but also in its compact segment. So the exterior styling has uh, pays homage to the very sporting design of a BMW Coupe, but at the same time, it blends in the robust construction of a BMW X model or the sport activity vehicle line of BMW. It really stands out, it's unique, it's different, and it is uh, something that you would be able to use both during your everyday urban trips or during those long, winding country drives uh, over the weekend. So really an enjoyable car to drive. Have the uh, complete range of BMW vehicles that has uh, made BMW the, uh, a, a leading uh, premium luxury brand in the country. This is spearheaded by, of course, the uh, first ever BMW X2. And uh, that was uh, only a concept and now they will see it in the metal. Sheer driving pleasure will not be fulfilled if you cannot also experience it. So we are also featuring test drives for all our models. According to the company, BMW is keen on continuing to promote class-leading automobiles and motorcycles with enthusiasts and aspiring owners at the center of its innovation. Check out our BMW cars, motorcycles, and uh, lifestyle merchandise and uh, experience sheer driving pleasure for yourself. Those were the happenings in the BMW Joy Fest 2018, this week's special feature on Autofocus. And up next is another exciting feature on our Autos of the World. This time around, we have the 2018 BMW X4. Let's watch this.
The second generation BMW X4 is making its debut as the BMW X4 M40i and the BMW X4 xDrive 30i. The 2019 BMW X4 with sportier proportions, with wider tracks, the latest generation suspension settings, a lower center of gravity and improved aerodynamics. The second-generation Sports Activity Coupe offers a wide array of new standard safety features such as active protection, which initiates protective measures when an accident situation is imminent, such as bell tensioning and the closing of windows and moonroof to a small gap. Additionally, the standard active guard includes frontal collision warning, city collision mitigation with braking, pedestrian warning with city braking, and speed limit information. Standard navigation comes with a large 10.25-inch display and offers drivers multiple ways to interact including touchscreen iDrive touch controller, as well as a cloud-powered intelligent voice control, the optional 75% larger color head-up display provides drivers the option of viewing navigation directions just under the direct line of vision. Not only does the all-new BMW X4 appear sportier, provide new and improved driving dynamics, better aerodynamics, and safety features. The all-new BMW X4 will be launched with a choice of latest generation power units. The four-cylinder unit in the all-new BMW X4 xDrive 30i generates 248 horsepower and peak torque of 258 pound-foot, which is on top between 1,450 and 4,800 rpm. This enables the car to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6 seconds. The BMW Twin Power Turbo technology for the gasoline engines comprises a twin scroll turbocharger, high precision injection, Volvetronic fully variable valve timing, and double Vanna's variable camshaft control. The BMW M Performance model comes with an inline six cylinder engine. Both model variants direct their engine's power to the road via an 8 speed Steptronic transmission and BMW X Drive Intelligent All Wheel Drive as standard, resulting in effortless progress over smooth roads and rough terrain alike. Gear selections can be selected manually using the shift pedals on the steering wheel. The standard 8-speed sport transmission offers exceptionally fast gear changes as well as a launch control function. The standard fit driving experience control switch lets drivers choose from sport, comfort, and EcoPro setups, while the BMW X4 M40i and BMW X4 xDrive 30i models also add a Sport Plus mode. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.